Okay, well we got some bikes here. We're not going to be using that one. Uh, that's the, the 2018 frame with the 2018 seat. The rest is aftermarket, so pay no attention to that. This is the one we're going to be focused on today. A 2017 Mongoose Legion L100 frame. The rest is from the 2018, except for the seat. The seat is an aftermarket seat by BSD. What we're going to be doing is we're going to see if this thing right here is grind worthy. We're going to be using an Odyssey tool. For 2017, you get 17 millimeter, and then for 2018, you get 18 millimeter. But 18 millimeter is not standard. 17 millimeter is standard for like most BMX bikes right now. Anyway, just wanted to mention that the axle nuts that I'm going to be using today are from the 2017. You can expect the same performance. Okay, so one thing I'm going to mention is check your fork spacing. This is the second mongoose where I've received where, I mean, that's a pretty sizable gap. Uh, so what I would recommend is taking a second washer um, or, or maybe two thin washers and placing them on uh, either side to make, keep your wheel centered. You're actually reducing their potential strength if you just kind of keep it um, pinched like that. So just something to note. Okay. Sounded pretty good. Chains protected, got enough clearance. Uh, let's take this thing outside. It's probably gonna snow soon. It does look pretty cool. Let's pop it out. Grab my helmet. Okay, don't mind the chickens in the background. They live here. Okay, chickies, come on. Come on. Okay, I know that's not the best angle, but it'll be good. I don't feel like I need to hold back on the bike. He's gone. Tired of those piles of shit. Continue the test. The thing I worry about the most is, is the spoke tension because I can feel my wheels flexing. So off camera I've probably grinded maybe uh, 30, 40 times, maybe less. I don't see any negatives to this bike. It's incredible for the price. Even at the full retail price, the 2018 I think is easily the best deal full chromoly everything. The only parts that are questionable, like I said in my last review of the 2018, the front hub is unsealed, not a big deal. When you say unsealed, it means it's like loose ball bearings instead of like a cartridge bearing, but it's still sealed like from the elements. Dirt and stuff is not gonna get in there. It is a female hub though, so that's an improvement. The front was unsealed and unable to put a peg on before, so this is a huge improvement. The fork is a little bit spaced far, and that's been the case on both. The stem is, Pretty questionable quality wise, but it works. The headset on the 2018 is a little bit smaller of a size than standard, so you won't be able to just pick up any bearing set and then throw it in there. You have to get a specific bearing set. I'll list it in the description. It's a great bike for the price, even at the, at the full asking price. Let, let's grind some more. Is the way to go. Try something a little bit bigger now. See if I can get something on it. <laughs> that was good. Actually, still looks great. Hit the crank arm pretty good and the chain, but it's still good, going good. This is the first time I've actually had the balls to really hit this ledge. I found it a long time ago and I've hit it a couple times, but not like consistently like this. It's a, it's a big ledge for me. It's pretty decent. This is a really cool spot. It's lit at night. Perfect for grinding if you want to just like do a session. We'll do this one here because I'm a little more comfortable with this. Gotta wax it though. This piece of wax is about done. I just broke my chain. The chain is probably the weakest part. 
Doesn't help that it's on the drive side. As you can see, it's not bent at all. It's just, just a chain. That's the damage to the, the crank arm so far from me messing up and to the pedal. Uh, still got a little bit of grip, but I'm definitely favoring this side now. I mean, the chain I knew was gonna break. It's a thin chain, and I'm gonna go back home and then pop on a, a used Odyssey keychain. Not the hollow kind, but the regular kind. Let's see if we can get some more action on this thing. As you can see, I hit it a, uh, quite a few times. The main impact was right, right there. Uh, let's see if I can just pull it apart. It lasted the entire way back. Yep, oh, yeah. <laughs> and look, a quick release now. Anyway, okay. I knew that chain was not intended for the type of riding I was doing. I just wanted to see how long it would last on concrete. And it would probably last a lot longer if I was better. Uh, but I mess up a lot still, like even on sort of simple lower ledges. This is a, a used chain I'll be putting on. It's a used uh, keychain. Okay, it looks as though we do have some sprocket damage as well. You can see the teeth right there from the impact I'm guessing is uh, they kind of rounded off. We're gonna run this thing till it breaks, so. Okay, well the chain's super tight, but it is slammed now, and it looks pretty badass. Cool, let's get back on it. We're back at the car wash. Kind of ironic, the only dry place at a car wash is in one of the car washing stations. My nose is probably dripping. Let's get back over there and uh, try to get some more clips. Uh, try to keep my feet dry here. And the bars look really cool right now. But we're gonna move on to the the kitty stage here. And it seems like if I bail out, I'll actually have some dry some dryness here. Let's get a get an angle here. We're gonna try a couple more with it waxed and then we're gonna move on to a little bit taller ledge. And the chain laughs at it. Let's try a double peg stall. Barely hanging on. I don't think uh, anything else besides the chain is really going to break on grinding. I don't expect the female axle to break. Um, I don't expect the the rear axle to break because it seems like a pretty decent part. I think the sprocket will eventually bend. It's not a heat treated sprocket, so I don't expect it to last a long time. Go for this bike, even if you're planning on kind of using it for some heavier use stuff. And I'm grinding on cement. You know, the cement is not friendly, so. Anyway, have a good day, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.